is Salvation TV. Christ in me.
the praise of your heart this morning. Let him receive the worship of your heart. Let him receive the worship of your heart.
shall not see and fear when heat comes but its leaves shall be green it shall not be anxious and full of care in the year of drought nor shall it cease yielding fruit the bible says that we are being compared to a tree that is planted by the riverside hallelujah is anyone with me here this, this, this evening the bible is comparing us to a tree planted by the riverside that spreads out its roots by the river and it shall not see fear when heat comes hallelujah i'm here to encourage you this evening that you're like a liver planted you're like a tree planted by the riverside that whenever heat comes you shall not fear whenever drought comes you shall not fear you shall not cease to yield fruit bona si fear I want you to go as you're going to worship God tonight. I want you to understand that whenever trouble comes, whenever heat comes, whenever temptation comes, we shall never cease to produce fruits. Hallelujah. You are a fruitful tree. I want you just to take this moment and we connect to your Father. Just give him the worship he deserves. You are not in any hurry to worship him. I don't want you to, to force yourself into the presence, but I want you to ask him to help you to worship him. Just take your time. Take your time and worship him. The best way you can worship him. Do not mind about your neighbor. Do not hurry into his presence. Allow the protocol to be observed. Allow the protocol to be observed. The Holy Spirit is here tonight. That one I'm very sure of. He's here with us tonight. He's here to reconnect you to the presence. He's here to reconnect you to the presence and worship him. Lord, we worship you. We understand that you are here. Because your word says that we are two or three are God and you are with the minister. Come on, worship him, child of God. Worship him. Worship him, worship him, worship him. You are like a tree planted by the riverside. You are like a tree planted by the riverside. That you will not cease to produce fruits. That you will never cease to produce fruits. Come on, come on, come on, worship him. Worship, 
mzima wangu ni wewe Bwana ni wewe usiyeshi inwa Uliye ni chaguwe ni wewe Uzima wangu ni wewe Bwana ni wewe usiyeshi inwa Crazy choices in our mother's womb. Ali to chagua da kabla tu mchagua. Ali to chua da kabla tu mchua. Ali to chua da kabla tu mchua. He knew us even before he knew him. Ali to chagua ni ye. Jesus, we worship you, Lord. Lord, we worship you, Jesus. We worship the Holy Day. Lord, we worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Jesus, we worship you. We worship you, Lord.
Siwezi kwenda Ninachoe Bila nguvu zako Siwezi kwenda Ninachoe Bila nguvu zako Siwezi kwenda Baraka zako your father you can speak to your father father himself is here tonight the father himself is here tonight and Carter is all about uh, being expectant being expectant do not make your heart to be so hard yeah. you can be in church and miss the encounter of God being in church is not enough you can be here and still miss the move of the Father. You can still be here and miss Him. You can still be here and not get the point. Come on, you can raise your worship. You can raise your worship. Here and ask Jesus, my umbiye to my to know go see Here and ask Jesus, my umbiye to my to know go see You can worship him, 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 You 
so sad when you come in the presence of the Lord and you don't know what brought you to Him. It's high time you realign your focus. You can choose to ignore that voice, that voice that is telling you not to pray, that voice that is telling you not to worship. Listen, God dwells in our worship. God dwells in our worship. There's nothing more you can do than worshiping Him. You cannot repay Him for what He has done for you, but you can worship Him. be so sad when we are singing full of music and all those noises but you're not worshiping God. It will be a waste of time if you're not worshiping Him. It will be so sad that you miss the presence of God. <laughs> all other things can wait but we must have to see Him. The Holy Spirit is here. But he cannot force himself on you. Hey. It's not by might nor by power. It's not by might nor by power. It's by the Spirit of the Lord. It's by the Spirit of the Lord. If you desire Him, He'll become real to you. If you desire Him, He'll become real to you. I see a room full of worshippers. I see a room full of worshippers, people who can worship God. Regardless of what is going on, you can still worship Him. Job was in the midst of trials and temptations. But despite that all, he knelt down and worshipped God. I don't know what situation you are passing through. But despite that situation, you can kneel down and worship Him. You can kneel down and worship Him. Do not bow to your problems. Bow to God. Do not bow to your needs. Bow to God. If you bow to God, these other things will bow to Him. Yeah. Why do I go to the Guadu? To the Nama, to the Nuga. Why do I go to the Ah, ah, ye 
Nataya moyo wangu Kama unatamani kukapa wimbo wake unaweza tukabia Nataya ya moyo wangu Hii moyo wangu Nataya ya moyo Let me hear you sing to the Lord, yes to Christ, oh. 
Nakusha ngo na vigele gele ku Yesu. Haleluya. Bwana sifiwe. If there is a true friend in our lives is Jesus. Kama kuna rafiki ambaye hawezi kuacha ni Yesu. Bwana sifiwe. Amen. We ready to sing for the Lord for just one minute. One minute of your time. Umekuwa mwema kwangu. Na shindo akueleza ye baba. Ye baba. Come on, give me your hand. Ye baba. Ye baba. Umekuwa mwema kwangu. Na shindo akueleza ye baba. you don't say on camera. Amen. You know what you need to do. Hallelujah. So I want to see people doing what they should be doing. Hallelujah. Can you celebrate Jesus for the great work that he's doing in our lives? Hallelujah. Amen. This marks our third day of prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is our third day of Recharge festival. Amen. And we give God the glory. Hallelujah. Greet some two people. Tell them, be strong. The Lord is with you. Hallelujah. And I'm happy because of the turn up. Oh, in the morning, since we started this prayer uh, and fasting, the seven days of uh, recharge festival, I tell you, the seven days, I tell you, people have been coming in a good number. Every morning people are here, lunch hour they are here and we give God the glory. Can you celebrate God? Can you celebrate him? 
I thank God because even today tukukuwa na lunch hour we were in Nairobi West prison. Hallelujah. And it was powerful. Amen. Can you celebrate God because of that work? Ah, hallelujah. And I tell you we we, we saw even pastors are there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I felt for them. Amen. I, I felt for them pastors. Not young, not young, old, old, old. A pastor that when you see is like our father, age of your father. Amen. Yeah, you can imagine, and uh, we don't know the reason why they are there, but we, I, I, I saw people, people who have been caged, and uh, I will ask you, let us pray for them. Hallelujah. Yeah, whether they did or not, but these people were remorseful. Almost 15 people received Christ. Ah. Hallelujah. And we are surprised that some know me. Because wakati waliulizo, Pastor mwenye mobili ya nito nani? Mwenye alisema, Pastor Korir. Kajo huyo. Mwenye iso sifiwe. Najo ujai ombea mtu wakiwa jela, lakini naomba ombea mtu. Ukienda pale ndi utaelewa yale awatu wanapitia. Mwenye iso sifiwe. How many are promising to pray for them? Hallelujah. They asked us personally, please pray for us. Baneso sifiwe. Hallelujah. Amen. Kwa jela kuna kuanga waliokosa na wasiokosa. Sio wote wana kuanga wamekosa. Amen. Na hata wengine wamekosa na wamesha repent. Amen. So we pray for them. Now I promise them that we are planning to go there with a big bang. Hey, hallelujah. So tutajipanga vizuri tuende kule na uwezo na nguvu. Amen. We buy some things and we go and bless them and we preach to them. Amen. Hallelujah. And this time round I will not uh, limit the number. We will go as many as we can. I say we will go as many as we can. Amen. So I'll give you the dates we plan and we go there. Amen. Pareso asifiwe. Mungu wabariki na watende mema for the great job that God is using through you. I know it's not hard to continue praying and also coming daily here. It's not easy. Kuja asubui sasaba jion is your raisi. But I tell you, God is glorified. Hallelujah. Waneso sifiwe. I want us to just, I want just to recharge you to a certain level. Then we pray. Are you willing? Are you ready? I've turned it step up. Tell your neighbor, step up. Or stand up. But it's a sifiwe. Can someone ask sifiwe? It is stepping up. It is to come up or taking a position for a particular purpose or cause. Stepping up. It is to come up or taking a position for a particular purpose or course. Things can never change until you step up. Amen. If you have your notebook, let me see it up. If you have your notebook, you Hallelujah. If your Bible, let me see your Bible up, your Bibles. Hallelujah. I, I see I have a great job to do. Amen. Baka sayi wewe auna netbook. Amen. Angalia mweza kumambie what's up man. Mambie eh? what's up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mambie yo what's up. Mwaneso zifiwe. Uyo mtu mwaneso zifiwe. Mwambie let's try it again next time. Praise the Lord. I ask everybody to make sure that you have a notebook with anywhere. Notebook and your Bible. And go and buy. Watch and go to a donation. And a new Bible. Hallelujah. Make sure you have what? Notebook. You can't come. Mimi nangangana kuandika someone. Weo unakuja tu unakau unasikiza vike yako. You are not serious. Mimi nangangana kuandika. Nangangana. Wewe na wewe. <laughs> Unasema ya nimeandika yote ya ina, inezakaa kwa hewa. Ay. No. 
That's why even when sons are preaching, I write. If I can write, why don't you write? Yeah. Nini mkiubiri na andika. Nini kiubiri we uandiki. Unasema kia na ubiri we unajua. Wendi uliandika ni kakopi kwa wewe. You are not serious. Kwa nesu wasifio. Supate mwenza kwa haifai muambia, yo man. You gotta wake up. Hallelujah. Labe yu ni anayelewa araka araka. Amen. Uwezi kuja kiyoyo tu kwa ibada. Kwa nesu wasifio. Kwa nesu wasifio. Step up. To step up, it is to come up or taking a position for a particular purpose or cause. If you don't step up, nothing will happen. Kama uta simama, hakuna kitu cha itendeka. Until a man realizes that there is a need and he steps up, nothing will ever happen. It is so unfortunate that things are wait for men to arise, for them to be built, to become something. So, chote ambacho kinafaa kiwe, lazima mtu ainuke. Dio kifanyike. Kama mtu wata inuka, hakita waifanyika. Na wengi wameenda makaburini Diyo nase makaburi ni tajiri Manake wengi wamengia kwa makaburi Waki wana vitu ambazo wangefanya But they fear to step up They fear to stand and speak They fear to stand and pray They fear to stand and say yes or no They fear to say I am here so things never happen, not because it could not happen, not because the power was not available, it's because there was nobody to stand. Let me tell you, God is ready to do miracles through men. God is ready to do wonders through men. God is ready to, to raise the dead through men. But where are men who can stand up for God to use? Ah, can you say what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Mulize, are you the one? Hallelujah. Anakuangale ni kama is the one or kaniza buwana sipiwe? Your marriage will never stand until you step up. Your business will never stand until you step up. Your children will not become better until you step up. Stepping up, it is taking responsibility. Ah, it is taking responsibility. What I need to do? I gave you a question the other time and said, you must ask yourself, what am I supposed to do and I'm not doing? And what am I doing that I'm not supposed to do? So you look at your neighbor, ask your neighbor, neighbor, can you take responsibility? Mulis, until when will you be coward? Mwambia, mpaka siku gani utakuwa mwoga? Kaniza mwana nasifiwe? Eh? Mzungu, ni mzungu kama ni mwafrika alisema, avadhali kufa kama umesimama kuliko kufa kwa magoti. Mwana nasifiwe? Eri kufa kama umefani nini? Kuliko kufa kwa magoti. Oh Jesus. In our families, there is a need of a man. Oh, you don't get me. I say in our family, there is a need of a man. There is a need of a woman. A person that can stand because of the family. There is a need. Where can we get people that will stand because of their family for a change? Every family needs just one man that will stand and say, enough is enough. The trouble must end with me. Ah, in every family needs just one lady that will stand and say, poverty is ending with me. This poverty must end. Death must end with me. In the name of Jesus, we need people to stand. When you see a family that is being celebrated, listen to me, just one person stood and everything changed. Oh, can you someone ask if you in the family of Moi, you know nobody from Moi, you don't know even the father, but you know Moi. But from Moi, we get other Mois, and from there, the family is so big and powerful. From just one man who was just a teacher, 
from that man something changed something broke from that family we don't know about the father but listen to me we know about the children that he, he got and from there things change so when you say my family you are talking about my because from him things change oh can you someone ask if you can you someone ask if you there are men that they have decided that this must end with me and I believe they are AI with us today. They have said these things must end with me. Kuna vitu lazima ziishe na mimi. Ah, haziwezi yenda kwa another generation. Haziwezi anza kwa generation. In my generation it cannot be that my brothers and sisters uh, that, uh, that my mother and my father uh, they were begging to go to school. Uh, they were looking for somebody to sponsor them to go to school. Uh, I can I came again. Uh, I'm begging somebody to take me to school. Uh, then my children they are begging people to go to school. Uh, then my children children they beg. Ah, I say it is ending with me. If my father begged, I cannot beg. My position is to sponsor. Because listen to me, I am a new breed. It must end with me. That's why I came tonight to tell somebody, you can step up and change your family. You can step up and say, Lord, I am here. I can be used to your glory. Something must change with me. Uh, I said something must change with me. I got a story about a man that he said I have not got education but listen it must end with us as siblings akamwa kwenda kazi kusomesha ndugu zake na dada zake akisema kwamba this must end with us good thing is that the my siblings wakasoma wakamaliza na wakakuja wakamsomesha ah uh, and that ended with them because just one man said i am dropping out for my siblings to enter then my sibling will come back and let me to enter ah uh, where are men who are saying it is ending with me oh banesha if you now let me take the bible maybe maybe you think it's a theory it's not a theory there are men that stood and say it is ending with me let me start with another man that stood to explain the issue in the book of acts chapter 2 acts chapter 2 it's a very long verse but we have to read it you understand something acts chapter 2 verse 1 if you are there read it with a microphone maybe we go very quick we go very quick we're just reading and uh, god will be glorified acts lemos kepe lagada acts chapter 2 zebala da 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 You'll be jumping and jumping. So, are you there? I read very fast. If you are there, my Allah, Yes. Take up the microphone. Come close to the microphone if you have gotten the first one, so that we go very fast. Amen. Help me to to do very quick, please. We have the, the Bible says yes. When the holy the when the day of Pentecost came yes, they were all together mm. in one place yes. Verse 2, suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came mm. from heaven mm. and filled the whole house where they were sitting. Mm. Verse 3, go, is, verse, go, go now jump to 11. It says, yes. both, both Jews and uh, con convenant of uh, Judaism, yes. uh, Cretan and Arabs, yes. We, we hear them uh, de de declaring mm. the wonders of God in our own tongues. Yes, continue. Amazed and perplexed. Yes, to 14. They, continue. They asked one another, yes. what does this mean? Mm. Verse 13. Mm. Some, however, made fun of them. And some, said, however, made fun of them. Uh -huh. And said, uh -huh. they have had too much wine. Uh-huh. Verse 14. Verse 14. Now listen. This is what is happening. Uh -huh. Peter addressing the crowd. Yes. Then Peter stood up and uh, the eleven uh, raised his voice uh -huh. and addressed the crowd. Uh -huh. Follow Jew, fellow Jews. Yes. And all of you who live in Jerusalem. Yes. Let me explain this to you. Amen. Just there. Can someone ask you? Can someone ask you? When they were filled with the, the Bible says uh, the day of Pentecost was cutting Ilifika, Wakajas on a row. This is what happened. They started speaking in tongues. And listen to me, verse 11 continues, says uh, Wengi Wakaskia Lugaza Warapu, Wakasikia Lugayao Kisukumusa. But this was if you but some of them Wakawamok no Kasema Wat Nuwa Levi. Can someone ask if you 
But just one man stood by the name Peter. He stood. And he stood to explain what is happening. Oh, Jesus. Because sometimes people can misunderstand and think that what is happening to you, there is a curse in your family. Until one man can stand and say, this is not a curse. We are breaking it tonight. Until somebody can stand and say, this is enough. I know you are talking behind our backs. You think I cannot hear, but I can hear what you are saying. And I'm saying, this is not what you are saying. This is it. Somebody had to explain to them. Somebody had to stop. You know, in this generation, you might not get time to stand up and explain, but we can stand up and, and release the change. Oh, we can stand up and them to understand. Sometimes you don't need, in this generation, we don't want to, we don't need to speak and tell them what is happening. We can just go deep and say, enough is enough. Let the results speak on our behalf. You can enter in the throne room and start praying and declare that this is what they are saying Lord, you know it is a lie but God you know the truth and I declare this must end with me. So the next time you appear they are surprised to understand that you are not just there God has elevated to another level. Why? Because there is something has happened. You went in the throne room and something has changed in the public without explaining yourself. Oh Jesus. First Samuel chapter 1. First Samuel chapter 1. First Samuel chapter 1. Are you there? First Samuel chapter 1. We go to verse 17. First Samuel chapter 1. Makaso la brada gadaya. la bradea. Okay, Amen. because it's taking First more time. Samuel 1 17. Amen. Then Eli answered and said, Yes. Go in peace, and the God of Israel, Israel grant you petition which you have asked mm. of him. Mm. 18. And she said, No. First Samuel chapter 1, verse 1. one. Yes. First Samuel 1 1. Yes. Now there was a certain man of Ramathiaim, yes. Jophim, of the mountain of Ephraim. Mm. And his name was Elkanah, mm. the son of Jeroham, mm. the son of Elihu, mm. the son of Tohu, yes. the son of Zuth, mm -hmm. an Ephraimite. Two. And he had two wives. The name of one was Anna and the other one was Penina. Mm -hmm. Then Penina ch had children, but Anna had no children. Sorry, sorry. I think we've lost. Is it second? Okay. Because this one is giving us another story. We need the story of, of David. Yes, yes. Pass someone. Hmm. Where is it? Where is it? Uh -huh. Is it first someone? Second someone here. Yeah? Chapter. Are you there? Second Samuel 1 1. Yes. Now it came to pass after the, the, the death of Saul, mm. when David had returned from the slaughter of the Amalekites, and okay. David had stayed two days in Ziklag. Okay. Two. No, 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 no. It's not that one. Okay, let me just get it. Let me just get it. One minute. Uh, it should be verse 1. Uh, first Samuel. First Samuel. Chapter 1, verse 17. Are you there? We're talking about David. We are talking about David. First Samuel 1, 17. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Where Just read it? it. Okay. Can you get the, the chapter where it talks about David? David uh, and uh, Goliath. Why is it disappearing? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We shall get it. First chapter uh, 17? Yes. Chapter 17? Yes, verse 1. Sorry. Oh, first Samuel 17. Verse 1. A 
I'm adding there just a minute. The Bible says. 17 verse 1. Yes. The word of the Lord says. Yes, yes. Now the Philistines gathered their armies together to battle. Yes. And were gathered at Soko. Soko. Yes. yes. Which belongs to Judah. Yes. They encamped between Soko and Azeka mm. in Ephes, Damim. Yes. And so and the men of Israel were gathered together mm. and they encamped in the valley of Elah yes. and drew up in battle array against the Philistines. Yes. The Philistines oh. stood on a mountain on one side yes. and Israel stood on the mountain on the other side yes. with a valley between them. Mm -hmm. Four. Mm. And, a, and a, a champion went out from the camp of the Philistine yes. named Goliath mm -hmm. from Gath yes. whose height was six cubit and a span. Yes. He had a bronze helmet mm. on his head mm. and he was armed with a coat of mail. Yes. And the weight of the coat was 5,000 shekels and bronze. Mm. And he had a bronze armor on his leg. I want you to go verse 8. 8. Yes. Then he stood and cried out to the, enemy, to the armies of Israel and said yes. to them, mm. Why have you come out to line up for the battle? Yes. Am I not a Philistine? Yes. And you the servant of Saul? Yes. Choose a man for yourself and yeah. let him come down to me. Yes. Go Nine, to verse 12. 12. Yes. Because now, of time. Now David was the son that Ephratite of Bethlehem, mm. Judah, yes. who, who, whose name was Jesse, mm. and who had eight sons. Mm. And the man who was old advanced in years in yes. the days of Saul. Yes. The three oldest sons of Jesse had gone to follow Saul mm. to the battle. Mm. The name of his three sons who were to the battle were Eliab, the firstborn, next to him Abinadab, and the third Shama. Mm -hmm. David was the youngest and the three oldest followed Saul. Mm. But David occasionally went and returned from Saul to feed his father's sheep mm. at Bethlehem. And the Philistines drew near and presented him 40 days, mm. morning and evening. Mm. Then Jesse said to his son David, yes. Take now for your brothers an ephah. It's, for... a, long, it's a long story, hallelujah. Mm. But now go to 29. I just wanted, I'm giving you things that I need you to understand so that when we get there, you get to understand what you are doing. Amen? Yes. Verse 29. Yes. Verse Samuel 17, 29. Yes. And David said, Yes. What have I done now? Mm. Is there not a curse? Uh, a curse. Uh -huh. A curse, sorry. Uh -huh. A curse. Mm -hmm. Then he turned from him toward another and yes. said the mm. same thing. Mm. And those people answered him mm. as the first ones did. Yes. Now when the word which David spoke were heard, mm. they reported them to Saul. Yes. And he sent for him. Mm. Then David said to Saul. Then David said to Saul. Let no, man hurt, let no man's heart fall because of him. Yes. Your servant will go and fight with these Philistines. Your servant will go and fight who? Philistines. Amen. Then David said to Saul, let no man's heart fail because of him. Your servant will go and fight with this Philistine. He stood up. Now, I've started in the beginning, there was a challenge and the Philistine was saying, you people, don't you have a person? The, the Bible is trying to describe who Goliath was. Goliath was so powerful, he was a giant. Ile kenya alko mevaa, ilikuwa ni atari tayari. Mana kenya alko mevaa, vifaa, vizito, vizito. And now, David, who is the son of Jesse, amba alikuwa mlinzi wa kondo, anatumu waende malipale. Now, where we are starting to read, we are reading when he is referring to his brother, that is there no a cause. Mana kenya dugia kana mlinza, amekuja kufaya nini, anamuita kierere. Bwanesu wa sifiwe. Now this is what is happening and Ulisa, what will be done to a man that will kill Goliath. The battle was drawn and everybody stood back. Nobody could come and say I will fight Goliath. Oh my There is a time that in your family there is a challenge and nobody is willing to stand and fight it. Some of you, you know what is hitting you, but nobody is willing to stand. Some of you, you know the challenge in your business, but you are not willing to stand. You know the, 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 the giant even in your marriage, but you are not willing to stand and say, this is the problem. I am standing to fight it. So listen to me. David 
and said, you know what? Mutu asisumbuke. Mwane su asifiwe. I am going to fight it. Oh, kanisa mwane asifiwe. He was not an army soldier. You don't need to be an army. You don't need to be qualified. Uh, to some people, you don't seem to be qualified to fight this battle. You don't need to look qualified. What you need is the power and the grace to say, I can stand up and fight this one. He was not qualified, according to them. But he had the grace. He had the energy. He had the, the, the ability to stand. He had the, the, the courage to stand and say, this one, I will fight it. I pray may God give you that courage. To stand because of your family. To stand because of our nation. To stand because of your marriage. To stand because of your business. May God give you courage to stand on behalf of others. And say I stand on them. Uh, on their behalf. Uh, to the glory and honor of the Lord. So David stood and said I will. When his brother Eliab. Abinadab and Shammah. They were not able to stand. And they were elder brothers. They were not able to stand. The young brother stood, eighth born. Akasimama na akasema mimi ntapigana. So listen to me. I don't care about your age. I don't care about uh, your number what in your family. I don't care if you came yesterday or you came today. I don't care if you are saved yesterday or now. What matters is this. Uh, are you able to stand? Uh, are you able to step up and say, this thing must end. I am about to stop something tonight. Hey, kayaso bela kata. I am about to stop somebody in my family. I'm about to stop some things in my family. I am about to stop things in my life. I know I'm talking about myself. I am about to do it. And tonight I pray somebody will step up on behalf of this family, on behalf of their marriage, on behalf of their ministry. Somebody will step up. David aliingia na akaangalia akasema hii hii ni mchezo iko hapa ndani. Huyu jamaa anatukanaje sisi? Sisi ni watu wa Mungu. Mbona anatutusi? Si kuna mtu ambaye ameweza shikwa na hasira ya kiroho. Ambie mweza kwa hasira ya kiroho. Hai hai hai. Mpaka Mwanaisi wa Sivie akataja vizuri akasema wewe ni nani uncircumcised Philistine. Yaani jamaa kaingia mpaka ndani. Hallelujah. Kanza mwana asifiwe akaangalia kona huyu jamaa hata hafai kuongea mbele ya wanaume. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ai, kanza mwana asifiwe. Na ana adabu, yani jamaa jua kona mwili kubwa, anadhania anaweza tukana Mungu wetu, anaweza tukana majeshi ya Mungu wetu. You know there is a level you must enter that is kaoroki ya kiroho kaoroki yani unaingia na kawazimu ya kiroho bwana Yesu asifiwe and declare that this one must never continue yani familia yetu inaibisho tunakaa ni kama sisi ni machokora ni kama sisi tulizaliwa na Mungu tulipebwa kwa mugongo na wengine wakipebwa kwa tumbo you declare this one must end you cannot abuse us just because you think your priorities and you have some advantages ah kayakos kapala badada akasema you come with a sword Ah, you come with a jubilator, but I come to you in the name of Jesus of Israel. It is the God of Israel that you abuse. Where are men who can stand because of their God and say enough is enough? I come to you in the name of God. Ah, there are things I have to stop tonight. Me, I don't know about you. Me, about myself. I say myself. Anything that is happening, anything that has been recurring, anything that has been happening continuously in my family, me have checked them out. And I say today it must end. I say today it must end. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say it must end. It must end. It must end. I wish I had a believer with me here that says enough is enough. I am stepping up because of my family. I am stepping up. I am stepping up. I am tired to understand that there is a witch doctor that kills somebody in my village. I am tired to hear that there is a witch doctor terrorizing our people in the village. While I'm just watching, I declare I am standing up because the way they killed them, ah, it must go back to the center. Shakela kapaya gatagata. I am tired to hear people saying that the witch doctor killed my brother, killed my sister, killed my mother. I declare it shall never happen in my life. I'm standing up. I am standing up. He said I live or I die. He said I live or I die. It is time I declare battle. I am standing up. I am standing up. I am stepping
lifting up for my family for my marriage for my ministry i am stepping up i am stepping up like the way david did because of the people of god because of the armies of god I am stepping up. I am stepping up. I am stepping up. Yedepa, shata da parepa, lekete mango sabe. Yedepa, 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 Just a woman, just a girl who can stand. He was just a boy. 
what has been eating my family i must deal with it what has been eating my family what has been eating your family we have to deal with it once and for all once and for all once and for all what has been blocking your life we must deal with it once and for all once and for all once and for all when shata can be shaka can be shata can be shaka can be dego kika umana kasema mimi sisi atuta inama lazima ijulikane mungu lazima ijulikane mungu ni nani lazima ijulikane mungu ni nani shakata baleka dagada yegede balabu shata when you step up, God steps in. 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 He is stepping in. He is stepping in. He is stepping in. He is stepping in. Shaka Panakada. Let it out. He is all Let the parapos. What makes you to rise and go down? What makes you to stand and go down? What makes money to disappear when your parents, when you're about to enter to the college, then the parents' money disappears? Their job. Things that happen when you're about to secure something, something happens. What has been stopping men in my family? I don't know about your family. But if there are things that have been stopping people in your family, that you can't get a man go, Nababayako, and I was as you could not do, you don't the same. Kunaka Kitulani can a car the same. Today to Namalizana Nahi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, you are standing. How are you, Leki? Come on, you are there. How are you? I'm going to put on a kazi and a tajirika, but a kita jerika naisha, naisha. We are dealing with it once and for all. Mutu na kuwa na pesa kio, na kuwa na sota, na kuwa. Oh, mutu na jazo na ro, na pewa kanisa ina kuwa kubwa, alafu naisha. Anangushwa na wanawake, anangushwa na pesa, anangushwa na tamaa. Yaani kwenye mkiangalia mtu amekuwa mkubwa na wana. Haya lale. Watu wako na kazi nzuri, maprofesa, hata hakuna mmoja amebarikiwa. Wote ni walevi hoi hai. 
I don't know, but I'm not speaking my own things. Mama single mother. So surely go single mother. Oh me get an go your level ten. Oh, it is time. It is time. I'm stepping up. 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 If it needs prayer, I will pray. I don't know about you, but if it is prayer, I will pray. If it is sacrifice, I will sacrifice. If it's commitment, I'll commit myself. If it's to sleep late at night, I will do it. If it is the word, I will do it. God is waiting for a man that can stand in your family. God is waiting for somebody. 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 God is waiting for somebody who can stand up and say, Enough. Is enough. How comes in your family? I'm going to see Kisana. Somebody must step up and deal with the earth and deal with the problem and face the Goliath and say, Enough is enough. I am stepping up. God will step in. Yagada babos, yagade bagede gede balada da 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 da. When Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they stood up for what they believed in. God stepped in, and in the fireness, the throat man entered there because there is somebody that stood with faith and said, "I'm not going down. I'm not going down. If others are going down, me, I am not." If others are suffering, me I'm not. If others are dying, me I'm not. Ay 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 above all he is able to do exceedingly above all that is my god he says i can do all things through christ who strengthens me there are things i can do all things all things blessed the lord god our father vision chapter one verse three the bible says blessed the lord god our father who has blessed us with all spiritual things we are blessed already kayaka kakapaya kato lekete kasopa lika tayada badada lekete prados kapila gadada shekete palagada gada gada osada yele prados apina gada yakana nade le panada osada lekata tata payeres Magalabos. It is like time to stand. Somebody must stand up. Somebody must step forward. Somebody must step forward in this ministry and say things must change. X must change. X must change. X must change. Mama Moja and Alewa Toto Ishirini. 
120 wanashindwa kulea kulea mama mmoja and you say it is okay it's not okay aya na 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 aya le oh jesus we are standing up we are stepping up we are stepping up what needs to be changed let it be changed tonight what needs to be turned around let it be turned around what need to be cancelled let it be cancelled what need to be erased let it be erased what need to be sent backwards let it be sent what need to go down let it go down hayalos we are stepping we are stepping up to the glory and honor of god declare i'm stepping up i'm stepping up for my generation i'm stepping up for my generation for my family i'm stepping up for my children i'm stepping up for my business i'm stepping up for my church i'm stepping up for my ministry i'm stepping up for my country i'm stepping up for my assignment i'm stepping up i'm stepping up where god has sent me i'm stepping up in the mighty name of jesus say lord help me strengthen me to step up strengthen me lord to step up in jesus name amen come on give a hand clap to the lord show you why you should step up how to step up who are awaiting you when you step up the challenges that comes when you step up hallelujah i ask you some years ago There was something that was being said in our family that nobody can get a child. It has been prohibited. And I was with my wife and said, that one will end with me. Hallelujah. They said, all, our, all sons, we are seven boys. They said, girls can get children, but boys can't. I was the first one. I'm, a, I'm the fourth born. I was the first one. And from there, everybody got children. God bless with my father with a car. He was the first one in his family to buy a car, Karimze. But it was good because I learned to drive through your Karimze KAA. Kanza bona sifi. But listen to me, I I do it disturbed that because by that time when I was dating my wife, hiyo gari inanuka inanichomea. Nikasema kwa maisha, haleluya. Ushaipeleka mtu date na unabeba na gari, gari inanuka petroli. Na na mko ndani ya gari. Vumbi natokea chini. Haleluya. Na sasa yuko na msupa unamwambia vile kuna future. Na gari ya baba yako linatoa vumbi chini. Namwambia no future. I said I will never buy an old car. Listen to me. When I bought my first car, my first car, when I bought my second car. People in my family, they don't struggle to buy cars. They don't struggle to buy cars. They buy when they want it. When you see anyone in my family that has no car it's because they don't want it. Receive the grace in Jesus name. Can someone ask me? You know there there are circles we must break in the name of Jesus. There are things, there are things. Hallelujah. Unapata kwa familia moja shida ikikuja nyinyi wote mko na shida. 
hakuna mtu anaweza kuokolea mtu 10000 family ya mzima mnapigiana ule 10000 peke yake one time my father was arrested we needed only 20000 20000 tunapiga simu mpaka ushago ushago watafute 10000 kaisa bwana asifiwe 10 eh elfu kumi. watoto tisa. elfu ngapi hakuna that was then that was then it reached to a point i said enough is enough kaisa bwana asifiwe yeah enough is enough hallelujah Imagine mtu ako na shida ya 1500 familia mzima nyinyi wote mnataka kuanzisha WhatsApp group ya kuchangisha 1500. Nasema je, hey, praise the Lord, Jesus is not no, Jesus is not the Lord. There is a problem there. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. Unajua unasema pastor ni kama anatuchochi, si kuchochi. 5000 kitu ya kuweka ngaka WhatsApp group. Unasema it is not well. Listen, if you want to know that umefungwa, jaribu kuenda kufanya Kenya auweziweza kufanya ujaiweza kufanya wale sasa hivi ni utajua utaweza kuna sukara tu ndani unaenda maana wewe ni maana kaniza bwana asifiwe one time we said enough is enough and we are building a house and we came together and we said we are raising money we are doing for raising no people from outside we are ourselves we are raising money and i went myself with money my brothers came with money and we are about to raise almost 250,000 seven people this is not a story can someone ask if you i'm not saying we are there i'm telling you there are things we were able to break and we are continuing to break them we are not there there are things there are challenges that you are battling yes but at least there's a be some demons to mejaribu kunganya kanyaga kidogo as I'm, I'm telling you something sometimes angalia mtu zingine ndogo ndogo yenye anaweza kwenda kula kichwa and realize what is happening what is happening what is the problem kanisa bwana asifiwe but kwa marafiki wako wote hakuna mwe anaweza kukopesha wakati umekwama akupatia hata 1000 inabidi umwambie nisaidie na 50 bob ju 1000 hiyo ni kama 100000 kwake hata nashtuka kimwambie 1000 anasema eh wewe yote anakuwa surprised na unasema Yesu ni bwana my friend there is a problem i say there is a problem i'm not enticing you i'm telling you the truth there are things you must understand you must get it if you have no friend brother gacha au na rafiki yako mwenye anaweza ati ni rafiki or a family member anaweza kupatia 10000 grant grant yana amekupatia hiyo ni yako si ati anakupatia umrudishie you need to pray more that hata kama atapatikana wache kweni wewe nasema hata kama atapatikana wache kweni wewe kanisa bwana asifiwe there are things we must step up and break them we break them in the name of jesus kanisa bwana asifiwe yeah. unajua apart from kuwa spiritual hata hii mambo mengine ni mazuri kanisa bwana asifiwe yeah na ndio maana tumesimama tupigana hizo vitu zote wacha nikuambie uwe na anointing na uwe maskini wacha nikuambie ni upuzi prophet alikufa na watoto wake walikuwa nakuja kuchukuliwa yes oh did you read you didn't read in your bible alikufa anakufa watoto wake wanachukuliwa kama slaves yes i am anointed and i'm poor that is not god kanisa bwana asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe watu wote walikuwa wanapenda kitu mimi ni maskini wa yesu Huyo Yesu wako ambaye ni maskini ni ule wa Tongereni. Ya. Yeah. Ambaye anasema ametembea dunia mzima kiroho. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. Tutembei dunia mzima kiroho tunapanda ndege tunaenda. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. Wacha kutamani kwenda tu kiroho, taka kwenda pia kimwili. Fika. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. No, I'm telling you this because listen, listen. Hakuna kitu mbaya kaa kuwa na mshirika maskini mshirika ambaye hawezi faya chochote kwa maisha yake mshirika ambaye anatafuta chakula anakula hand to mouth hakuna kitu kama we ni pasta huyo mtu ina umanga sana sisemi kwamba ni watu wabaya nasema ina umanga sana ni kule tutawai wakosa bwana yesu asifiwe 
Lakini mimi nasema hata kama tutaiwakosa isikuwe ni wewe. Nasema hata kama tutaiwakosa isikuwe ni wewe. Wacha Mungu akufungulie njia. Wacha wewe ukue wa baraka kwa watu. Wacha wewe ndio ukue unainua watu. Wale watu wakisema I'm praying for destiny helpers, unaambia shh I am here. What is your problem? How much is your school fees? And do you know any person when you are school fees? Bring them, I'll pay. It is time to watch a kungodia wazungu. Sisi we nyewe ndu tukwe wazungu wetu. We give others. Can someone ask if we Hallelujah. I wish mtu angeshika kena sema. Me I say this, I will pray oh, I will pray. If it needs prayer, I will pray. If it needs hard work, I will do it. If it needs anointing, there it must come. It must. Can you say I'm breaking forth. I'm breaking forth now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Time is up. Unatoka maombi, unachapa maombi, umepika maombi, umetoka jasho, makamasi, mate. Alafu na yu nambia mtu. Nisaidia na 50 bobi ya fea. Hallelujah. Kombi ya kangani? Kombi ya kangapi? Mina mwambia kila moja hako wapa ndani. Mungu wa kuimunweki wangu kingine. Mungu wa kubariki. Mungu wa kutete. Ana pakubariki na vitu vya kilo. Akubariki na vitu vya kimwili pia. Akubariki na vitu amba uneza shika pia. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Uwe wa baraka kwa watu. Nasema uwe wa baraka kwa watu. Uwe wa baraka kwa watu. Katika jina la Yesu. Niyona kanisa moja inafungwa. Kanisa inamishwa, inatolewa by force. Manambe, we need just 10 million. Walishito kutowa. Kanisa ya watu over 200, over 500 people. 800 I think. Yes. Walishitua. Imagine kama kukua tuna watu wawili watatu. Wasimama na waseme, how much did you say? 10 million? Here you have it. Keep change. With 20 million. Wana isi wasifiye? Mwambia usikanyake ukutena. Hallelujah. Mwamba mungu watumie wewe. We are breaking the circles in the name of Jesus. Anything that stops people in your family, we are breaking them. In this, the remaining days, things are breaking. I said things are breaking. Amen. Things are breaking. Amen. Where things were locked, things must be unlocked. Amen. In the name of Jesus. We are unlocking them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Listen, this does not care about your faith. I'm saying it whether you have faith or you don't have faith. Yes. Yes. It must be broken. Amen. I said it must be broken. Amen. In the name of Jesus. May God give you grace. May God give you grace. Amen. In the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Celebrate Jesus, everybody. Let's go to our pockets. We want to honor God. Let's go to our pockets. Bye, Allah. Shut up, Allah. If you're ready, let me pray for your offering. If you're giving through a as well. But let me pray for you. Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you. We give you glory and we give you honor. As we honor you with our substances, bless our lives. Take charge of our lives. Fight for us. Lord, we pray that from today we are stepping up. Give us the grace to step up. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Bring your offering. I love us. I'm a very crazy man. And I want you to be as crazy as uh, 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 not as me, more than me. Can you say as if I I thank God because of those people who are sacrificing to the morning glory and other things. Help me to pray. Come, let's pray. Those who are online, if you are giving, just give to the glory and honor of God. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. I want you to be crazy and seek God and declare some things, refuse some things. Amen. Now, on Sunday, we said we are not giving you envelope. This is your own burden. You carry it. 
Hallelujah. Amen. We are giving a Thanksgiving sacrifice offering this Sunday. Go and prepare yourself. Buy an envelope. Come. Hallelujah. Then our Thanksgiving has been first uh, Sunday of every month, but from next month it will be second Sunday of every month. We'll be giving our Thanksgiving. And this will be compulsory to all our church members. Can you support us here? Can you support us here? I sent you a clip on the WhatsApp. Is anybody that is a member of our church is not in, on WhatsApp? Because sometimes I don't communicate. I, some things I will not preach here, but I communicate there. Is there anyone? Or you don't follow me on Facebook? If you are in Angalia, Rev. Isaac Moya, go and check some things there. There are things we will not preach. Go and look, Rev. Isaac. Follow your pastor. Stop following other people. You are following Eric Omondi and you are not following your pastor. You are not serious. Hallelujah. You are following some comedians and you are not following your pastor. Go and follow your pastor and share to other people and tell them, follow, this is my pastor. Share on their WhatsApp. Tell them there is a great man of God. There is a prophet of God by the name Rev. Isaac. Follow this man. If you are not proud of your pastor, who are you proud of? If you are hiding your pastor, who do you expose? Who do you put on your profile pictures? Who do you share? If you cannot share your pastor. Do you share your pastor? Can you share your pastor? I will block you, block you on Facebook. And you can who you are going to do. Hallelujah. Yeah, you cannot be, you don't watch the sermons of your pastor. You watch other pastor's sermons and you say, Hallelujah, it was fire, it was fire. Even if ours was not fire, please write it, it was fire. Write it. If you don't know, you didn't see fire, ask, we saw fire. Kwa lazima we won the fire. See up at a Kunamoto up a Mora. Hey, go and see that fire. Can you want to see here? Yeah. Say it was powerful. Say, wow. I, I, uh, come, come, I greet. I, I love this man of God. He, he says, he says, there is no better place to be. Like, uh, and I'm Reverend Isaac Moya and Pastor Janice Moya welcomes you to Shiloh Cathedral of Praise, located at Kariobangi North Light Industries next to King's Bakery. Midweek service include daily morning devotion from 5.30 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. Wednesday impact service from 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Friday mini Kesha from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Sunday services include Workers' service from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Miracle service from 9.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. To meet the man of God one-on-one, -on -one, send a message or call 0722-631-785. 0722-631-785. Shiloh Cathedral of Praise. Salvation TV Christ in me